what is going on YouTube. I took off the jacket to do another video on this Friday for you, and no, it's not a haul. It's actually a contest entry. It's kind of a weird contest entry. Uh, I've been talking a lot about this comic altruism, comics altruism uh, channel that's been going on lately, and I really like what he's been doing with letting the community decide on various charities. And um, right now he's at about 19 views. Um, and I really like what they're doing as a younger channel. So I'm going to enter his Road to 100 contest. And what he wants you to do is kind of talk about a or, or suggest a charity. Um, and I understand the rules is to be that that's not necessarily going to be the charity. Um, it's not based. The winner's not based off of the charity. Um, it's based off the entry. So you get two entries for a video, yada, yada, yada. But it does not mean that the charity that I'm recommending will be the one that gets it. Um, there's a comic book prize that's associated with it. We'll talk about that at the end. So if you don't know, comics altruism is in Canada. And um, so I, I got to thinking about this. And I've been a member of the American Legion uh, in, in America. We'll just leave it at that. In Virginia, both at the Virginia State Office and National. And I go to all the conventions, both the national and the state conventions, on a regular basis. So it would only make sense that mine would be the American Legion. However, I think that would be kind of weird to ask somebody to donate to another country's veterans, military service connected people. So luckily, since we have such a great, outstanding relationship with Canada, Canada has its own legion, its own sort of legion, and it's called the Royal Canadian Legion. And it is legitimately a mirror of the American Legion. Um, if you're not familiar with these programs, basically they support veterans, allow them a place to hang out and talk in most cases. I've been to some Royal Canadian Legion posts in uh, Ottawa, actually, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And, um, and it was just like being in an, an American Legion. Some of the people, you know, spoke French, uh, which was weird. Um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so if you don't know anything about the Legion as a whole, as we'll call it, they base themselves off of four pillars. And that's the comfort and support of veterans, children and youth, community projects, and security of the nation as a whole. Um, I know here in America, baseball is our big thing, right? Because that's America's pastime. But the American Legion, as far as youth sports programs, also supports not only baseball, but a youth air rifle, Olympic-style air rifle. That's kind of what I do with them. Uh, teaching youth that kind of thing, oratorical, boy state, girl state, um, junior law cadet programs, everything along those lines. If veterans have a little trouble making payments on a bill or is disabled and can't find a job, there's that support there as well. Also, if you're kind of getting done over by the VA medical system, they help you with your claims as well. And uh, we're the oldest and largest uh, veterans organization in the entire world. And the only reason why we can say that is because we partnered with Canada to create theirs. There's another one in Scotland, England, and pretty much anybody that fought the Axis. If you don't know, the American Legion was first founded in 1919. This is all of our legions at that point. Uh, we kind of all got together in France and decided that, hey, when we go back to America, there's nothing for us. Like there was, this was pre-VA and, and all this other kind of stuff. And we kind of should have our own voice. And uh, so that's when the American Legion was created, also the uh, Royal Canadian Legion, as well as the other brothers and sisters in arms and their legions. So, um, and uh, this is one of those ones where uh, nobody gets a paycheck, like legitimately. The national commander of the uh, American Legion here in America does not receive a dime. He gets uh, travel reimbursements, and that's about it. Um, so everything goes back into supporting veterans, supporting community supporting children and youth. Those are the, probably the three biggest ones that we spend money on. Most everything else is legislation and arguing on Capitol Hill. Um, and it's the same way with the Royal Canadians as well. They are huge in youth programs, um, especially sports. I believe track and field is one of theirs as well. Um, if, this, uh, if this charity is so picked, um, I would like the proceeds to go to their youth programs. I, I really do support youth programs. I think that's great. Um, to get kids out there engaged and involved in all communities, and it kind of brings in community togetherness. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of that's kind of my deal. Also, as far as the prizes go, I would really appreciate it that instead of sending me the prizes, that you do your thing with the comic books and use that money to go into whatever charity wins at that point. Um, I have plenty of comic books. <laughs> like I, 
I buy weekly comic books plus my Golden Age collection. I have enough comic books coming to this house. And if another package comes to my house from a different place comes to my house, my wife's going to recognize that and think that I'm buying comic books in Canada. Like That's going to be like, what? Collecting Canadian? Like, this, it would just cause me a whole lot of hardship. So please do me the favor and just roll that in to your vehicle of getting this donation money out there. I really appreciate it. And dude, I, I just recently found you. I know I've been talking a lot about you. No, no like bro romance or anything like that. But I truly am impressed with your channel and this concept that you're growing. I, I think it works at both the comic book community level and it works at the local community uh, level as well and the emergence of those. And again, charity is boundless. So uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, thanks for having this. This is my contest entry. I'll have his link down below. I will also have the link for the Royal Canadian Legion as well down here so you can check it out yourself. Again, I just thought it would be weird for you to donate to the American Legion, um, you know, crossing the border that way when you have the legitimate mirror image of it right there. So, hey, guys, that's my video today. Just a quick short one. Uh, appreciate you stopping by. As always, I'm Pokan Joe, and you're pretty cool. I didn't say that in the beginning. And, hey, if nobody's complimenting you today, you know, it's amazing what a little charity can do. If you do it, you'll always feel better. I guess that's more advice than it is a compliment. Yeah. Let's go with today's advice. Give to charity. It always makes you feel better. All right, guys. I'm out of here. And if I end up making another video today, it'll probably be because I'm slightly intoxicated. Talk to you all later. Bye.